song number four, uh, Danger High Voltage, which is the song that uh, put Electric Six on the map, uh, certainly in UK and Europe, and then I think it uh, slowly trickled to the United States and uh, uh, other parts, maybe Australia, I don't know. It, it took us a while to get to Australia, but Danger High Voltage, uh, our, our big, big song uh, that uh, got the ball rolling for us. Uh, this one came together in the year 2001, and uh, uh, it, we obviously recorded it before the White Stripes broke big because Jack never would have agreed to <laughs> to do this for us uh, if if it felt like we were using him, uh, which uh, we uh, honestly weren't at the time. At the time uh, we did this song, he was just a guy from another band, and we thought it would be funny to have him on our song. So uh, we got very lucky in that regard uh, because I, I don't even think we could have approached him uh, after they broke big. Um, so I know when we did the reunion show at the Magic Bag when I moved back from L.A., that was April, two th uh, April 2000, and I don't think it was on the set list. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure we we hadn't really done it yet. Um, so it came later than April 2000, but I can't pinpoint exactly uh, when it made its way into our set and when we decided to record it. Uh, the music and the riff was just something that those guys would play during breaks and practice, and one day um, I, I came prepared and threw the lyrics at it, and... Um, it, it, it just it came together really, uh, really awesomely. Now, there's not much to these lyrics. It's, it's pretty straightforward, perhaps the most straightforward, uh, simplistic lyrics uh, I've ever written. Uh, but the one thing was um, uh, I said fire in the Taco Bell over and over again, and the rock and roll Indian uh, actually came and said, uh, I think you should mix it up, make it a fire in the gates of hell, and rhyme that with Taco Bell. And so it would be. Uh, I actually thought that was a good idea, so I signed off on that on like uh, with Naked Pictures, uh, where I used my veto power, and so that's how uh, that's how that chorus uh, came to be. Otherwise, it would have just been Fire in the Disco, Fire in the Taco Bell, four times in a row. So I think uh, I, I think we 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 did a good thing there. Um, now I know when Jack came to do his part, Jack White, um, uh, he was really into it and he was really professional and and invested in it, even though it wasn't his song. And he seemed to enjoy himself, and um, you know, he 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 wanted to do multiple takes and uh, different approaches to it, and uh, it, it was it was cool working with him. That's the only time I'll probably ever get to work with him. But I assume he's kind of like that with everything he does. He just he's he's in the moment, and he has ideas. He's an idea guy, and uh, I can't state it often enough um, that if Jack White had not performed on that song, I highly doubt I'd be talking to you now. Um, because uh, we just wouldn't have gotten our record deal uh, without him, I don't think. So I'm, I'm kind of forever in his debt, uh, to be honest. Um, not only was the song a big deal, the video was a huge deal, and uh, that was 100% the brainchild of Tom Kuntz and Mike McGuire, the, the directors. Um, and it was, it was interesting uh, heading into the video because the, uh, the other guys in the band were not happy about being excluded or being turned into wall paintings as they were. Um, but... The concept for the video only called for the singer. Um, uh, it didn't matter that it was me. They just wanted the, the front man. And uh, the guys in our band wanted a, a performance video real bad. They wanted to, like, you know, be seen playing their guitars and drums and, and, and all that. And, I, you know, I get that, obviously. But um, th our label, XL, really, really um, wanted this concept. They wanted Koontz and McGuire because um, uh, they had delivered uh, really good videos for them in the past. And... Uh, Eventually, we were just kind of worn down, and XL promised to like, okay, do do this, do the Danger video with their concept, and then when you do the video for Gay Bar, uh, then we can do your performance video, and you guys can all be in it. And so uh, we all signed off on that. And then, of course, when we did Gay Bar, we went back to Quince McGuire and back to just me. <laughs> and that was that didn't go so well, uh, and that, that that was a big part of uh, well, there are many many reasons why those three guys walked away when they did, but uh, you, know, you could say that was part of it. So. I get it, uh, but also I do believe that if we had just done a performance video that uh, we would not have charted as well as we did. I think the the, the way that video um, uh, took hold of people, uh, you certainly wouldn't have got that just with watching the rock and roll Indian play guitar um, as much as he thinks that they would have. <laughs> um, Anyway, that uh, it was a cool video. Uh, I'm very proud of it. Uh, I had a lot of fun working on it, and uh, it's uh, it holds up to this day. Uh, my co-star in that video um, was a 72-year-old grandmother named Tina Canaric. She was British, but she lived in Toronto, um, and 72 years old in 2002. Um, uh, so I had heard uh, maybe around 2006 or seven that she passed away. I don't know when. I, I heard from her once after the video, sent me an email, said it was fun working with me, and that uh, her grandchildren loved it. So 
that was cool. But she was a very nice lady, and uh, I, I, um, I, I know she's she's in a, she's in a good place right now. She had a very good heart, and uh, and uh, she was a pro. She's pro actress, pro 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 dude, pro tood. So um, that video was a lot of fun to make, and uh, she was a big part of it. So um, anyway, uh, Danger High Voltage, a big song for us. Uh, Electric Six. That's what people think about. Uh, that's not what I think about when I think about Electric Six. I th- when I think about Electric Six, I, th- I, I, I think about being very tired. 